Hello everybody, my name is James from TGN and today we're going to be going back in time to one of the earliest editions of Minecraft I could actually find. And this is called Minecraft in Dev and it was actually released in February 2010. Now it's got a weird, weird world generation, so we can choose what type, floating, island, flat, inland, island, floating. There you go. You can choose what shapes, a square, long, deep, and square again, size, normal, huge, or small, and theme, normal, or hell, or paradise, or woods. Now the sound is a little bit buggy, so when I actually turn it on, it kind of crashes, so... You won't be hearing any game sounds, but I'm actually going to turn this all the way up to hard just to see what monsters we can find. And this is just a quick look at some of the settings. The controls are pretty normal. Load location is a bit weird. And save location is return. So let's generate a world. Now you've heard of the Never. Now this hell area is pretty much the first basis of Never that ever came out. So we're going to go for a floating hell. We're going to make it square and huge and we'll see what kind of world this gives us now this may take a little bit slow because I am recording and in dev is very buggy it's, it's all the bugs that were all taking out a long long time ago but I was pretty happy when I found this because I've always wanted to go back in time and see some of the older minecraft levels because I joined when it was an alpha now I'm going to return with the video when we've actually loaded the world. And we have spawned. Now back in Endev you actually had one torch, which I'm going to take, and you actually spawned in a small hut. Now this is hell, and you guys probably can't see this very well, but try and make it out. Now the sky is all red, the sun is as orange as usual, and there's a lot of lava everywhere probably. So these are the floating islands, so this is pretty much like the end, the first basis of the end as well, which is really mental. And underneath it is a funk ton of lava. Now if we were to have a normal world, then the lava wouldn't be on the bottom of the world, it would actually be on the surface. But as you can see, floating islands. Now I'm going to fall off and die, just to show you what it's like dying. So you get a little game over message, you'll score, and you can click generate new world or load level. You can't go back to menu. So this time we're going to pick an island, but we're going to make it hell, and we'll make it small, just so the world generates a little bit faster. Now I'm going to return when the world is generated. And we're back. So this is hell version 2. We've picked a small map, and we've picked an island. As you can see, we have dirt, we have gravel. Gravel still has its gravity effects. If we put the gravel on there, but it works a lot faster now. Plus, it also gives a flint. Now, back in in-dev, flint wasn't used for anything apart from flint and steel. So arrows were actually made from the heads of, or well, the head of an arrow was actually made from iron. So we'll just throw that in there. Throw that dirt block in there. Now, on the inventory screen, we get a little blue faded effect and a waving hand. We also have this little armor set, which is pretty nice, and I like that. We'll just see what we can find. Now I have turned this up to hard, I do believe. Yeah, so we'll see what mobs we can find. Sheep are still punch and get wool. And pigs take a lot longer to kill. Unless you do that. Some mushrooms were in the game. Now I was trying to build a house and I was like, okay, we'll we'll build a we'll build a um, we'll build a door for a house. And you can't build doors in Indeb. Now I have a new series that I'm planning to do where I check out a different Minecraft update each week that was pretty, you know, historical, like the Secret Friday update with the Never, or Alpha, some Alpha updates, and maybe the update with the, the added multiplayer, and we'll try some multiplayer back then. So that's just my series idea. So now this is a Zomble. He will attack me, and he does a lot more damage than he usually does. We have another Zomble up there. Now I know this is very hard for you guys to see, but please sit through this, because we're, we're going to generate a nice green world soon. Now, Zombles are not the best tuned. They kind of sh shake the head at you and just walk away at sometimes, and sometimes they'll go super rage mode and just trip balls and kill you. 
first ever Minecraft parkour. <laughs> so that's all we can find. We can't find any skeletons, sadly. And I have actually seen skeletons on here. They're like, well, I saw it in a later InDev version because I have two versions of InDev. This was the earliest I could find. And skeletons are on it. But it's just zombies for now. Alright, so let's try to generate a new world. And let's fall. Now, I don't know if you noticed that, but lava took a very long time to kill me. So let's generate a new level. We're going to make it uh, inland. We're going to make it deep. I'm going to make it huge. And the theme will be paradise. Let's create a new world. Just like before, I'll rejoin when the world is generated. Okay, so we have our deep, long, huge paradise. And just before we get small hut, and we're pretty in depth, just like we picked. So we're surrounded by rock. Now, there was no proper caves in InDev. It was all very just, if you were, if the rock spawned wrongly, that's, that would be your cave. There was no planned caves. And le well, flowers, they were just here for decoration. If I go into my inventory and try and make some out of them, they do nothing. So they're just there for decoration. Now if we go over here, we can see a bedrock wall. Now this was the border of the map, so once once you've hit this point, you can't go any further. And I'll show you what it's like when you go a little bit further. We're not going to go too far out just in case it crashes. But I'll show you what it's like. Now it's pretty much just flatland grass. Forever. Now if you try to destroy it, it won't destroy. It'll just... That's it. It just won't destroy. And it applies here as well. You you really just can't destroy it. It's just infinite grass. So they were the borders of the map, which you don't see in 1.9 pre-release 5, for example. Trees were a lot greener. Grass was a lot greener. So Minecraft looked a happier place. There was no biomes. There was no wool. Well, actually, there was wool, but there was no coloured wool. And great things that you actually love, like certain blocks, like I don't know, lapis lazuli, iron blocks, they were not in here. Alright, but thank you all for watching me going back in time. Now I'm going to do a little rating, and the rating would be if I bought this game in its current state right now. If this was the game right now, if I bought this. I would probably say it's very fun at first. I like the survival aspect. And the creative mode wouldn't even come into it, because there's not many blocks, so I won't be able to build a lot. And it looks it looks pretty nice. It looks a very happy game. And it's got some cool animals and some flowers and stuff. So I probably wouldn't buy it because I was a boy. I'm not being sexist to girls. I'm just saying that it looked more girly. Which it did. It looked more greener, more happier. Alright, everybody. Thank you all for watching. My rating would probably be 6 out of 10. 6 out of 10. 10 being Jesus. <laughs> Join me next time where I cover a different update. I'm probably going to go to Alpha or maybe do the second in-dev where I show you skeletons and how derpy they look and how they used to shoot arrows from their chest. Alright buddy, thank you all for watching. My name has been James from TGM. I'd like to take a second to promote my TGM Indie video, which is really proud. Well, I'm really proud of it. I was killing the Eye of Cthulhu. I didn't win, but it made a sick montage and I used all my editing skills to make it really good. It's got some cool funky music on there from Machinima Sounds, so I thank them. Alright, Barry, I'm going to leave you a link in the description, plus you can click on the annotation in a second. Thank you all for watching. Peace.